Hey everybody, Delta Flight Gaming back here again, and we we're playing some more Xenosaga Episode 1. Uh, last episode, we were pretty much just learning around the ship, trying to figure out what to do, and where to go, and hopefully try and advance the plot a little bit. And in this episode, we're going to try and advance a little bit further. I regret talking to her. Try and find her way out of here and... No, nope, can't interact. What about this? See you later. Okay, good luck. Uh, <clears throat> well, back to work. Let's see if we can find our way up to the ship, up to the, is it command deck or whatever it is. Yeah, you don't have any information to say. Oh, it's just going to automatically throw me into this. All right. Press release, the Rio 680RR. Okay. Human access codes. telling me about or imaginary machines Sales department, 4767, okay. Okay, they sure did. Oh, so it must be her weapon.
Unus Mundus Network? What does that mean? If you've never played this, this little bunny thing, that's the save icon for the mount the memory card. That's what I always found interesting with the PlayStation 2's memory card is some of the items that they use as like save icons that some things actually had a uh, like they would interact, they would change if you're going to delete something. It would actually be a different icon. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, I do need to see the captain. You should probably stop talking to me. So that way I can get this going. Got you trained, hasn't she, sir? What? Train? What do you mean? Hey, what are you smiling at? Hurry up and get back to work. I'm on it. See how he always changes the subject? What was that, Togashi? Nothing at all, sir. You're just hearing things. I swear. Huh? What's up? Still not convinced? Oh, no, it's not that. It's just... I know how you feel, but you saw what happened just now. Even the chief is cautious sometimes. Besides... Oh, that's right. You just transferred in a month ago, right? I guess you couldn't have known. You mean the accident from two years ago? Because well, we say he knows I've something. About it, but I don't know any details. the two of you can be alone. Why don't you ask her out while you're at it? We can handle the rest by ourselves. This is your big chance. I told you guys, it's not like that. I'm crying out loud. Anyway, I'd better get this to her. Good luck! Yeah. Go, Tiger! Jeez, I just don't know when to quit. It's not like I don't want to. I just can't. Don't be a pussy. Seriously, another cutscene? I went, what, like five feet? Mr. Strickland? Yeah. Listen well, up. Kind of. You lazy bums are the cause of that accident. You're not getting any time to confess your sins, though. Why not? Because I'm not giving it to you. If you've got time to be sorry, you've got time to get your ass in gear. If you've got time to think, you've got time to get your fingers moving. Don't even start thinking you've got a brain to think with. You're going to become machines and work like them day and night. Yeah. You're all a bunch of slackers! <laughs> Boy, I guess not every department's run like ours.
you're still here, huh? Killing yourself over work won't get you very far. Oh. How are you? I had to get this data done before morning, so I... Well, what are you doing here so late, Kevin? You'd better get some sleep. We've got an early morning ahead. Here, this is for you. Huh? Oh, thank you. To tell you the truth, I haven't been able to sleep lately. Something's been on my mind. On your mind? Like, how hard would it be to animate, you know, finger gestures? Or just to move the fingers? The PS2 Tomorrow was capable she's of finally that. going to wake up. I'm looking forward to seeing her come to life, but... I have no idea what to say to her when she wakes up. It's been bothering me. I'm just being weird, huh? Why don't you just say, good morning, Cosmos? Good, good morning? Well, that's what you say to someone when they wake up, right? Or get up, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Thanks. I think I can finally get some sleep now. You were losing sleep because of that? Glad to help, sir. You should get some rest, too. All right. Well, good night. Good night. Yeah. Everybody's so eager to see her. So it's supposed to be her? Like a... from her past or something? on me already get the hell out of here my men will start slacking off they see bimbos like you around I'm so sorry who's the idiot that led civilians on this ship what the hell are you Damn. staring at oh. got a pretty good right hook
And we're back. Another cutscene. Yes, another one. Chief. 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 Hmm? Alan? What do you mean, Alan? Don't act like so just cut. There's like this you get something important? fluidity. It's just like cut, scene, scene, you know, scene. It's dangerous wandering around in a daze like that. Yeah. Sorry. I was just thinking about something. Are you all right? Huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm just not myself today. Thanks for stepping in back there. Ah, uh, no. I, I should have spoken to the new guy earlier. So, you don't need to thank me. But, it would really help if you would try to understand their feelings more. I, I know everyone's still a little uneasy about Cosmos, but they've been pouring their hearts and souls into this project. They all want to see with their own eyes the end results of what they've been working so hard to complete. I feel the same way myself, you know? I know that. I just don't care. It's just that I... Chief. The incident, right? Huh? Oh. <laughs> I see. You're... Hmm? Sorry. That's not quite it. Forget about it. It's nothing. Let's just hurry up and get Cosmos completed, okay? Oh. Who could that be? More Realian maintenance? They really should stop calling you all the time. Technically, it's a violation of regulations for you to deal with other divisions. Besides, aren't they expecting you on the bridge? Oh, don't worry about it. I don't want to brush them off. Besides, it's on the way, and I've got some time. Like, this whole See, episode should just be, get to the bridge. Get to the bridge. Oh. Ugh. I forgot to ask her out after work. Dumbass. Oh wait, I remember this part. You could spook this dude. Yes. Manual lockdown of bulkhead activated. The passageway will now close. Please use caution near the closing doors. There they go. And press it again. Yes. Bulkhead lockdown deactivated. The passageway will now open. Please use caution near the opening doors. And he's officially scared. Number 18. Got it. Just click save here.
is still at zeros. I don't know why my time won't go up. I don't have any cheat codes on. It's like this is just like trying to cram so much into you, cutscene wise, email wise, like it's just slowing down the progress of getting to the bridge. Cosmos, Cephalon, okay. Real NWS, the Gnosis. Some weight loss effects. The apple diet? I really hope this is the right direction. Of course not. Hello, you rang? My apologies, Miss Uzuki. It seems we're constantly in need of your help. No problem, Lieutenant. I want everyone to be healthy and happy, too, after all. So, what's the problem today? Well, I'm trying to teach them some new battle algorithms to better reflect the unit's reorg. But the integration is not going very smoothly. You're right. He's rejecting the data. Oh, no! Let's see. It's just so comical watching that hand. Talk to all of these guys now. No, I am fine. Could express more joy? Aren't they cyborgs? Don't cyborgs like not have emotions? Perspiration? So they're more human then. So that's exactly what we need is cyborgs that sweat. Cutscene, what, number five? Yep. Well, I've made some adjustments, but please contact Third Division once we return. I recommend they receive more intensive counseling soon. I'll be sure to do so. You know, I'm really impressed. Providing Realian psych support on top of developing Cosmos? I hear even specialized counselors have a hard time... Oh, I'm just making the most of what my mentor taught me. I'm glad I could be of help. Besides, I always wanted to work in the 3rd Division. Actually, I'm thinking about requesting a transfer once my current work's finished. But Vector's first R&D division has the best researchers in the organization. 
Everyone knows not just anyone can get in there. Are you sure that you want to transfer? Oh, yes. Besides, my family's always asking, how did you get assigned to the First Division? There must have been a mistake in the paperwork. Who knows, maybe they're right. Besides, I want to learn so much more about them. What's learning about them going to do for you? Lieutenant Virgil. Why are you sniffing it? Their stench. What? It reeks. I can't get their rotten odor out of my system. Can't you smell it? It makes me sick to my stomach. Huh? What are you? <gasps> That's enough. You got your orders from the Lieutenant Commander, didn't you? One of the goals of this operation is to enhance combat support between the Eggs and the new model Reallians. And yet your... Support? Huh. In a battle against them? The last thing I want to worry about is supporting a bunch of untested, weapons-grade Reallians. Um... Excuse me, but these people are highly qualified soldiers. These people? You're treating equipment like people? Oh, you really shouldn't say things like that. These people have the same intellect and emotions as us. And the Milsha Charter clearly spelled out the basic human rights of Reallians when it was ratified in 4763. What a load of crap. Get off what your soapbox. You act noble and preach about humanity, but in the end, they're just equipment as far as your company's concerned. Or maybe more like merchandise. We don't treat them anything like equipment or merchandise. Then why do you categorize them as weapons-grade realians? How much more evidence do you need than that? Whatever you care to call them, they're nothing but tools so? of warfare. Besides, I know your little secret. I don't know if you can You guys hear that, have an emergency override code to control them, noise. don't you? Virgil, why are you? Huh? What do you want? It is as you say, sir. Immediately below me. We are manufactured as merchandise and raised accordingly. However, I take great pride in what I do now, and this pride was not forced upon me. It is of my own free will. So if they're a cyborg, how do they have free will? Maybe in 4763 they figured free out how to make will. free will. Well, good for you. You'd better just enjoy it while you can. The time will come soon enough when you'll realize what's going on. Just you wait. Just you wait is such a cliche, like, movie villain phrase. Just you wait, bear. A DME addict? My apologies, Ms. Uzuki. He wasn't always like that. But then, something happened. Is he an old... acquaintance? We were classmates at the military academy, and I've been stuck with him since then. It was Milsha. I see. So... That's why. You knew about that, huh? Then again, 
Anyone planning to join the 3rd Division would know. Well, I... I'm from Milsha. Huh? Of course, no one's allowed to go there anymore. My family moved to 2nd Milsha when they transferred the capital after the war. And my brother still lives there alone. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring back painful memories. Oh, it's all right. After all, it's something we must never forget about. For our sake and theirs as well. I wonder what that could be. Oh no! I forgot I had to report to the. You've been friends. told like five times. How can you Sorry, forget? I'll come back to check on them later. Bye. Please don't... <sighs> so I can do s keyword for certain things now. So basically I can, it's a bestiary and keyword function now. Cool. Anything in here? Hey, save point. How's that messy? Even Homer sometimes bobs? Nods. Can someone explain that to me? I don't know what that means.
There better be something good in there then. Another one, please, please no. Oh damn it. Not what I wanted to hit. for Cosmos. Say Sergeant Swain. You investigate doors as a hobby. Well, I mean, if you're in space, you got nothing else better to do. file. <clears throat> so I gotta get a specific key for each red door. Cool. Do you have anything to say? No? I don't want to bother with you guys. Nothing. That looks like an, that almost looks like an airlock. So it opens up an airlock. So that was point. What was the point of that? Number 
number 16. Is there anything up in here? Another save point. Is this the bridge? Sweet. Obviously, yes. That was only 10 minutes. According to this, it's 42 minutes, but, you know, it is what it is. I see. I understand the basic specs. So, where's the actual field data? Well... It's not quite ready. All I can provide today is up to A7. So you don't have it? Well, we'll begin testing with a mock-up unit very soon. But the system is still a little unstable and... Aren't you just making excuses? Listen, Chief Uzuki. Why do you think you're on this ship? This guy's been in think a lot of anime. For a moment. I don't know his name, but I know he's done a lot of anime voice acting. This fleet may be newly outfitted, but it was assembled under major time constraints. And we have eggs units, but the 100 series observational units that go with them aren't available until later. What would happen if by some chance we were attacked by those things? I don't think I need to describe the outcome to you. The purpose of Cosmos deployment was to address this issue. Or am I mistaken? No, sir. Listen, you're not in a laboratory anymore. You're on a warship. This is a battlefield. Cosmos was supposed to be our frontline defense here, and now you're telling us it hasn't even woken up yet. There's no point in having a weapon that can't even get out of bed. That thing's only meaningful to us when it's fully operational. Why can't you- Let it go, Commander. These people are working under serious time constraints. Just like our own squadron. Besides, they're only one step away from actual field testing. In the end, we all want to see this operation completed without having to resort to that thing, don't we? Of course, Captain. But I believe we... Ugh, who's calling me? Is there a problem? Uh, uh, no. Something urgent's come up. If you'll excuse me. Kind of fishy. I wonder what's wrong. I don't know. Well, never mind. That's enough for today, Chief Uzi. I came all the way to the bridge to be told Let that's it. Let me know it. if any new developments arise. I'm sorry we failed to meet your expectations. Oh, there's no need to apologize. What's important to us is how reliable the system is once we start using it. Rushing the project won't get us anywhere. So just calm down, and take as much time as you need. The government's funding it all anyway, right? <laughs> you must be tired. Take the rest of the day off. as well, see if there's anything important. Let me see 
Um, so I'll attach the email. Sprinkle. Repeats required processes. Now where's that? I'm not going in a, did I just go in a circle? <laughs> yes, I did. Son of a bitch. That's an insult. Looking for a save point. Okay, so I know where I'm at now. <clears throat> Excuse me.
Seriously? Like, this is one of those reasons why they really should have, like, actually developed the map. Okay, well, where is that? All right, um... I can't... That's all. I can only look at that floor. Okay. Now we gotta play find the eggs hanger. Can you tell me something? No, no. Yeah, just beat on a canister that looks like it'll explode. That works. What was the point of that? If you're not going to stop me and like keep me from going around, then what was the point of that? I oh, can't look at that. Is this a map here? I think it is. We already know how to get to the elevator and to the bridge. I don't need to know that. I need to know where to go get the hangar. I just realized I was going all the way back towards Cosmos. Son of a bitch, I am so sorry. Stop me again. here. Alright, so my room is right up here.
That looks like an item box over there. That dude's trying to hit on her. Disappearance of a planet. This seems very foreshadowing. Well, at least I got a free item out of it. I think we found it. Yep. Wait, it was a capsule, so it's like capsule corp or like a Pokeball. Pokeball. Sorry. MWS. Was that... Was that it? Hopefully it was. Oh, he should have just teleported me there. <clears throat> This will bring me So the bridge elevator should be right. Yep, okay, so now I know where I'm at. I think that's going to do it for me for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. That was a grave mistake, Cherenkov. I believe I already warned you about the dangers of the Zohar. You should have been more careful while retrieving it. Yes, sir. I'm afraid there's no excuse for the fatalities that occurred during the recovery. However, we can... That's a trivial matter. Forget it. That those people touched the Zohar and then vanished. And, in addition to that, you're still transporting it while exposed to normal space. <laughs> Be 
because of that, we've had to move the plan up two phases. We can't have the Zohar falling into the government's hands. Two phases? But why are you... We picked up local UMN activity on our EPR radar. The fleet is column jumping towards the position of your convoy. They'll cross your vector in five hours, 22 minutes. No, it can't be. Them? I told you, you've made a grave mistake. We dispatched reinforcements an hour ago. So keep it safe at all costs until they arrive. W will they make it in time? Just keep it safe until they arrive. I don't care if you have to send it into hyperspace by itself. Fortunately for you, your ship is carrying that weapon. I don't know what Vector's up to, but take advantage of the situation if you can. Excuse me, sir, but they haven't even started field testing it yet. It's too risky. You, of all people, should be cognizant of its power. I don't care if it's unstable. Make them hurry. But, but, sir... That is all. Commander, wait! Commander Margulis! Like I told you before, I can't go anywhere until my project stabilizes. Don't you remember? You know how long you've been saying that? I haven't seen you for two years now. You could at least come home for our parents' memorial. Where's your sense of filial duty? Memorial? Oh, come on. Why are you trying to resurrect obscure ancient rituals? Wait a minute. You've been reading those weird old books again, haven't you? I swear you're so obsessed with those precious books of yours. That is none of your business, thank you very much. <sighs> How many times must I tell you not to quibble about my way of life? What do you mean, way of life? All that stuff's just a stupid old hobby for you. Just remember, don't expect me to take you in when you're old, senile, and all alone. That's terribly rude of you, Xion. Don't worry about me. Just promise me you'll come home this year, okay? If you don't... All right, all right, when I get some time off. Look, gotta run. See ya. Hey, wait. I'm not going to let you dodge the question again. Hello? Hello? Honestly, I wish he'd consider my feelings for a change. Okay, now I can do that. Okay, so, like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to uh, come back.